Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and today we're going to be doing my November wrap up. I almost said mid month wrap up, but it's November, end of November. In the month of November, I read a total of 30 books, 15 of which are in my mid month wrap up, um, which I will link down below in the description and above in the cards if you want to go check those out. Um, so I won't be talking about those in this video. I will be talking about the second half of the month where I also read 15 books. Um, so first let's start with some statistics like always. Um, I read 8,989 pages which um, is a lot. That's a lot. I haven't read 30 books in a month in a while. I've been like reading slower and this month in November I definitely like went back up. Um, I listened to 215 and a half hours of audiobooks. Um, uh, 25 of the 30 books that I read were on audio and 5 were ebooks. Uh, 29 were adult and one was new adult. I've definitely been not reading new adult as much. Um, and for star ratings, I had 10 five stars, four 4.5 stars, 13 four stars, three 3.5 stars, and nothing below 3.5, which is awesome. I usually have at least a couple three stars, and I had none this month, so it was definitely good, which shows because our average rating was 4.35, which is so much better than the last couple of months. I am very happy with that. Uh, it is a little bit skewed <laughs> because three of those were, three of the 30 books I did were rereads and those contribute to the five star books because I tend to reread five stars or 4.5 stars. Um, so that contributed to the high rating a little bit but still 10 five stars. Um, that was still seven new five star books. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's get into the books that I read. I am <laughs> gonna be glancing down like at my phone <laughs> just because I need to remember, so sorry about that. Um, but the first book that I read was One Moment Please by Amy Dawes. This is a surprise pregnancy doctor romance. So this is not my favorite series of Amy Dawes, but I've tried and kind of been trying to like get through it because I like own them on audio. Um, because I bought this series after I read the Harris Brothers series and I adore the Harris Brothers series and that all of her Harris Brothers universe books, I, I love them. They're so, so good. But I'm like not the biggest fan of this series, which sucks. Um, but this one is the third one in the series I DNF'd the first one and the second one I think I gave 3.5 stars. I gave this one 3.5 stars. Also I'm pretty sure I didn't write down um but I'm pretty sure that's what I gave it um and uh this is a surprise pregnancy one where a girl has one night stand and then um she shows up at the doctor for something else like in the ER. I think she hurt herself and she ends up in the ER where the guy that she had the one night stand with is her ER doctor and he has to tell her she's pregnant. She had no idea. He tells her she's pregnant and she's like, oh shit, it's yours. Um, so then they end up doing like a friends with benefits situation, which was such a dumb idea considering you're having a baby together. Um, but I just wasn't the biggest fan of the heroine. Um, the hero had a lot of like baggage that he was dealing with. Um, and the heroine kind of had like unrealistic expectations almost of the fact that he should share all that baggage with her. And I was like, you're not together. So if you don't want to be in a relationship that, with this person, why would he share all this baggage with you? It was just odd and not my favorite. Then I did a reread of Rome, uh, Roommate by Serena Bowen. Um, I love this book. It is an M.M romance where a guy named Roderick comes back to his hometown after a horrible breakup with his boyfriend and he's living in his car for a while but he is a uh, he is a chef or a baker um, he went to culinary school and he gets a job 
working at a cute little like coffee shop in the town where he runs into a guy he knew in high school who <laughs> used to sneakily watch him have sex and not realize that Roderick knew that he was watching himself have sex. Um, but it is their romance and they end up being roommates and he's not out as gay. He's never been with a guy before and it's very, very good. Um, really, really love this. It came out in January and this is like the third time I've read it this year. Um, definitely a high up one of Serena Bowen books for me. Then I read a novella um, ebook called Forever Wild in Aster Valley I think and this is a I was just feeling like a wintry mood and this was like the wintry ebook that I decided on. Um, it's very short it's only like a hundred pages maybe um, even maybe even less um, and this one is about a guy who found out that he is related to this huge group of family. This story is about him going on a like family vacation reunion where he gets to meet all of the members of this family um and they like get to have embraced the like family spirit and then he has a romance with the, a guy in the town that they're vacationing in. Then I read Ivan by or Yvonne by Sophie Lark. I loved this, gave it five stars. This one is a uh, a woman who's an assassin who is sent to kill the head of a mafia family and she ends up getting captured by him and then they fall in love. It's wonderful. It's so 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 good. Um, I loved this. <laughs> then I read The Lady Gets Lucky by Joanna Shoup. This one I also loved so good. This one is a historical about there uh, a girl named Alice who is at a house party where with like her chaperones where they're all trying to find uh find husbands. Um and she over here, she's very shy uh and not very um good at talking to people or flirting or attracting other people um and she overhears this girl talking about how kit can turn any woman into a vixen and she's like i need that in my life i am so shy i need somebody who's gonna break me out of my shelf and so she goes to his room at night and asks him if he'll give her lessons on how to be more outgoing and flirt with people and get a husband um and he is like aggressively against it at first, but they end up doing this and then forming this really great friendship and then romance. And it's so, so good. I really, really loved it. And I read another five star book, which is Thief of Shadows by Elizabeth Hoyt. This is a um, another historical and it's in her Maiden Lane series. Um, it's like book four, but I've read all of these books out of order. Like I haven't finished the series, but I think I've read like book eight and four and three and one or something like that. Um, and I adored this. It is a virgin hero vigilante who like also during, he like is a vigilante at night and then during the day he runs a home for or uh, for foundling children and orphans in like the worst place in London, um, in St. Giles. And then he has like sworn to protect all the people of St. Giles. Um, and then his love interest is this woman who is one of the ones who have recently like taken over the orphanage. Um, they like own it now and they don't want, this group of women don't want him to run it, the orphanage anymore because he's not of noble birth. Uh, but this one woman, Isabella, Isabel, Isabella, um, she, is like, let's give him a chance. I'm gonna train him on how to act proper in society. Um, and then they fall in love. It's so, so good. It is amazing. I absolutely love this. Like, maybe one of my best, favorite books of the year. Like, so good. Then I read the anthology A Year of Love. This is by like a whole bunch of different authors. And I marked this as completed, like I finished this. Because I read, there's 12 novellas in it and each novella is about, is by a different author. Um, and I think I read 
10 of the novellas and then DNF'd two of the novellas. Um, but then I like, so I like completed the whole book basically. Um, and overall I thought that they were really good. I really liked the Serena Bowen one, obviously. I loved the L. Kennedy one, loved the Kennedy Ryan one. Um, I don't even remember who else was in it. Helena Hunting was in it. Um, there were a whole bunch of authors and there were, it was free and I was only going to read like the Serena Bowen one and the Helena Hunting one and then I ended up reading like almost all of them so it was really cute like all of them um were very fun and festive like. Then I read My Dad's Best Friend by Katie Robert. This one I enjoyed but the daddy kink not for me. Um <laughs> So this one is about a woman who has taken over her father's company and she, um, a lot of the people who, it's like an architecture firm and a lot of the clients don't think that she has what it takes to run this firm and she is like really upset about that. Um, but she's determined to get this client like what they want and what they want is this man who's her father's best friend and he used to be an architect for her father. He used to work with her father and he's like retired or he left the firm. And so she shows up at his house um, and is like, I need your help. Will you come and work? And he's like, no, absolutely not. Um, and she is super like upset about this. Um, she goes to Storm Mountain leave when there's this big storm that's going on and her flight gets delayed and she ends up having to stay at his house for like a day or two um and then they end up having lots of sex um and then they end up staying like romancing together <laughs> um but it was great I mean I really liked it but I really don't like the daddy kink then I read Pucked Under by Helena Hunting. This is one of the novellas in the Pucked series um, and one of the only ones that I hadn't read yet. I think I only have one left now with the Pucked series. Um, this one is Lily and Randy's like follow-up novellas after their story. Um, Lily and Randy are like my least favorite in the Pucked series. Uh, so I wasn't sure if I was going to read it, but I read it and it was fine. Like it was like nothing overly exciting. Um, I think I gave it four stars. I enjoyed it. I have nothing much else to say about it. Then I read Temptation by Kiki Clark. This is book two in her Leather and Chrome series. This is about a motorcycle club and this is Six's story and I've been wanting Six's story ever since I read the first book in the series which I think is called Reckless and I was slightly disappointed. I thought I would like Six's book better but I ended up thinking um, liking the first one better. I did not love Six's love interests whose name I think is Ollie um, and again really don't like the daddy kink. This this one especially in this one like this was a little too much daddy kink for me. Then I read Ruthless Stranger by Maggie Cole. This one was one of the ones that was on my like six books to read before the end of the year and I did it. Um, I really enjoyed this one but I ended up giving it, I think I gave it four or 4.5 stars. I think I might have given it 4.5 stars. It wasn't quite five stars for me but I really enjoyed this. Um, it is about a girl, um, a woman, who is in Vegas like after her divorce. Um, her friends like take her to Vegas and her friends are trying to like get her to get back on the horse um, with dating and sex and whatever and she's like doesn't want to but she tells them this sexual fantasy that she has um, and this guy like walks over to her wa walks over to her friends after she leaves and is like I can make that fantasy come true if you want and her friends are like absolutely let's do it um and so they scheduled set this whole thing up where he's gonna complete her fantasy and then she he ends up being um a client at the company that she works for later on after they leave Vegas and she recognizes his voice and 
his smell and the way he his presence almost like she never saw him because she was blindfolded but she like and his recognized his voice and all this stuff and they end up being in a relationship um but it's hard because he is connected to the mafia and she is like really worried about that and the reason why I didn't give this five stars is because they were older um characters older main characters which I really liked the idea that they were older um and that um she had been married before and all this stuff but the lot of the like her actions specifically reminded me of like a teenager like there were parts of this book that I felt like I was reading like young adult because of their the way that she would respond to things or react to things and I didn't love that um we enjoyed this and would still totally recommend it then I read Sweet Filthy Boy by Christina Lauren because of Brie's period video. <laughs> I immediately placed the hold after Brie's period video, which I will link down below where she like talks about books that have period caretaking scenes in it. Um, and that is something that like I really like. <laughs> um, and so I immediately put this on hold after that video and I ended up enjoying it more than I thought I would. Um, I gave it four stars. Um, it is about a accident, like they get like married, drunk married in Vegas. Um, and then when all of their friends get like their marriages annulled, because they're like whole friend groups gets, gets married in Vegas. Um, and the all of their other friends get their marriages annulled and they don't. And she ends up going to Paris where he lives to spend the summer. Um, because she doesn't know really what she wants to do with her life. Her father wants her to go to business school and she's all set to go to business school, but she really doesn't want to go to business school. And so she doesn't really, she's at like a turning point in her life. I really could connect to what she was feeling a lot, like being where I am in my life. Um, and I kind of wish that like a beautiful French man would like sweep me up and take me to Paris. Um, <laughs> uh, but I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought that the conflict was dealt with really well like he did a lot of apologizing which I really appreciated um and I really liked it then I read The College Dilemma which is a novella in the fake boyfriend universe by Eden Finley it was like 30 pages that's it uh, then I read Dirty Rebound by Mira Lynn Kelly. This is a hockey romance about a single mother and her, um, and then, uh, her best friend who is her brother-in-law's teammate. I end up doing a friends with benefits situation. I am so sick of friends with benefits. I really need to stop reading them because I cannot stand them. Um, it really drives me crazy. And I say that as I go to Blindsided, which is the final book that I read this month, which was a reread of Blindsided by Amy Dawes, which is a book that I absolutely adore, probably going to be on my favorites list of 2021. Um, this is a friends to lovers romance where there is a plus size heroine, a British Scottish hero, um, who is a absolute sweetheart who plays professional soccer, and she needs help because she has no idea how to flirt and date people and he helps her out um and does basically lessons and they end up in like a sort of friends not really it's not the same as friends with benefits but she, he's like she's never had sex and he's really upset by the fact that she wants to just like get have sex and like be done with it and he's like it's your first time you should like have somebody who like cares about you and somebody who is going to treat you properly because he doesn't think she treats herself properly because she she talks about how she's like accepted the fact that she's plus size but she doesn't really find herself beautiful um and she but she, so she's like accepted that she is the way she is but doesn't exactly think that she's beautiful um or the fact that she's plus size is beautiful and Mac is like, absolutely it is. And he tries to like show her that she's wonderful and beautiful and that they're all of these things are 
like her whole personality is amazing and that she, somebody would be lucky to have her not she would be lucky to have them and he basically steps up and kind of like teaches her to appreciate herself which I love and it's so good <laughs> the audiobook is fantastic um if you are gonna read blindsided read the audiobook because Will Watt is absolutely amazing it's done so 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 well but that is all of the books that I read in the second half of November so thank you so much for watching please give it a like if you liked it and um if you want to catch up with me between videos um my Instagram and Goodreads links are in the description that is the best way I post on there pretty regularly um, but until then, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video.